together to thank you for your goodness. I'm so grateful for who you are to us. I love you, Lord. All your mercy never fails me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sonia, good morning. Process for Purpose, good morning. Monty, good morning. Fantastic, good morning. Foxworthy, A. Foxworthy. Derek Jones, good morning. Leela, good morning. Where can I find that? It's not posted anywhere. I gotta post it. It's not posted anywhere as of right now. Fly Girl, good morning. Uh, Tina, good morning. Tiffany, good morning. Nicole, good morning. Keela, Police, Kalisma, Cynthia, Glenn, Mother in law, Kiana, Ophelia, Ruth, Shea, Big Bro, Amy, Find Purpose, good morning. Please post it. I will. I'll try to figure out a way to post it. Queen McGee, Allison, Reggie Golden, what up, Reg? Kim, good morning, Gina. Good morning, Denise, Harlem, Amy, <laughs> Alaska Girl, Uncle George, what up, Uncle George? Christine, Betsy. Glendale Basketball, Britt, Jeannie, good morning, Armine, Armin, Jar of Rocks, good morning, ETZ, good morning, Miss Purple, good morning, where's your coffee, it's right here, right there, good morning mom, Brother Dane, good morning, Ben, good morning, Justice, good morning, Step away for a second. Good morning. Jerry, good morning. Miss Tanya, Mr. Beth, Daniel, Shane. Stephanie, Claudia, what's happening, y'all? Robin, Brother Ross, Becca, Mikey, Call to Conquer, Erica, good morning, Chastity, good morning, Mindy, Ashley, good morning, Irene, good morning. Happy Hump Day, Susan, Mom to Maxi, Mama, T Berry, Andrea, Jay, what up? Aisha, good morning, Gail, Travis, what up, fam? Sandra, Ryan, Michael, Annalisa, Mrs. Leary, Nancy. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Y'all come on in. Let that goodness run after you. Priscilla, Tracy. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Porter Renee, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Sister Desiree, Francie, Maharaj, Stacy. Good morning, Uncle Edward, Kia, sweet little Kia, good morning Kia, Julie, good morning, Julie Palladian in the house, yeah. she got up, yay, Becky, Jackie, Megan Brown, good morning, Tracy, Nikita, Baby, you want to say good morning? Oh, 
sleepiest. Oh my god. I'm surprised you did that. Kyla, good morning, Sean, Tracy, Lydia. Come on, lift those hearts. Let's declare. Let's start our day. Let's breathe and let's just say, Lord, you're so good. Lord, you're so good. Jen, God, so good. Debbie. Vanshika Renee. Thank you so much. Miss Stephanie, Jen, Sister Holloway. What up, girl? Come on, let's declare his goodness. Lift those hearts. Let's declare his goodness. Let's declare his goodness. Faith. God is so good in this place. I wasn't calling you out. I was just talking to the rest of Y'all just happened to hear it. That's all. Come on, if you know he's good, come on, lift up those hearts. Lift up those hearts. I will say this is the day. I'm going to say, I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me. God. Tim, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dominique from Hotlanta, let's go. Uh, y'all ready for this today? Come on in. I'm excited. Y'all, we getting through it. Yo, we getting through it. We getting through it. It's Wednesday of yet another week. We in here together. God is so good. And I'm telling you, um, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. This is good news today. Daily devotional with yours truly, Albert Tate. I'm so excited that you are here. This is a regular crew. My regular crew is here. Uh, if you see somebody, what up, Jill? If you see somebody that ain't normally here, text them and tell them, yo, the party has started. Come on in here. Ready for some good news. Come on. Let's bring it. Go find this song. I'm going to Yeah, 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 yeah. So check it out. It's a morning show. Can't be a morning show without a theme song. We got a theme song. Got a pretty, got a pretty good one. Like to hear it? Here you go. Hey. Hey. Tell somebody. Tell somebody everything's gonna be okay. Camille Banks, what's up? Come on. Come on. If you're a regular, you know what to do. Put it in the comments. Tell somebody. Everything's gonna be okay. Come on. Yes. Can I tell you something? Taryn, can I tell you? Marquet, can I tell you? Christy Joy, can I tell you? Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I know it may seem rough, it may seem hard. Can I tell you, everything's gonna be okay because we getting ourselves together in this quarantine. Yo, we are getting our spiritual lives together. We are getting it together. We are not using this as a time to check out. We are not using this as a time to act like ain't nothing going on. We are not using this time to run away from hard things and sadness. Latrice, we are using this time to lean into all that God has for us. He got manna on the table and I want to eat all of it. Anybody else want to receive all that God has for them? Anybody don't want a short chain? Amy, I don't want half of it. I want all of it. I want all of it. I want all that God has for me. I want all that God has for me. I don't want to leave nothing on the table in this season. I want to get on the other side of Corona better. That, that, that's, that's, that's what we're here for. That's what I'm doing. I'm here to help push you into the greatness that is your destiny in God and in his spirit. I'm here to push you so that when you get on the other side of this thing, you'll be like, I'm stronger I'm better, I'm wiser. Come here, Marvin Sapp, where my witness at? Yeah, I'm stronger, I'm better, I'm wiser. Come on. We're going to come on the other side. 
And we're going to give you that, that, that good, good truth. Come on, Faith. Sister Faith Fields, Sister Barbara Wilson, come on in here. Can I just tell you, God got something for you in this season. He's got a lot for you in this season. Don't miss it. Get all of it. Say, I want all of it. I want all of it. I want all of it. And we want to help you get all of it. If this is your first time uh, joining us, first of all, if you're in here, hit that share button. If you can share it, invite somebody right now. I believe that the spirit of the living God is moving Latala. I think God is doing a, a, a thing right now. And there are people that God is speaking to, Benita. I think, I think God is speaking to folks and divinely orchestrating times for them to come in. Good morning, uh, Robin. Good morning. I want to go back to normal. That's right. Whitney, I wore your shirt the other day. I don't know, I don't know if you was in here that day, but I wore your, your shirt, that Pearl Pirate Championship shirt. It was fly. Had all kinds of folks asking me about it. So I was representing. This week, yo. Yo, have y'all been enjoying this week? Yo, this week has been crazy. I ain't, I'm not even gonna lie. I've been like, Laura, what are you doing? This, this calling out, Shanae, good morning, girl. Calling out Paula uh, Brown, Lisa McDonald, good morning, y'all. Alba, good morning. Y'all so, I just so good to see y'all up in here. So good to see y'all. Calling out, hey, calling out the cracks in the kingdom. <laughs> the cracks in the kingdom and this idea of secular salvation. Um, this idea what we do with salvation where is this is what we're the what we're the savior and the hero hero of our life. So I've been talking crazy this week. Mm -hmm. You, you gotta go back and what I've been Judy Shuper girl, I've been talking crazy this week because the theme is belief, but here's the push. Stop believing in yourself and start believing in him. So, so, and, and ain't nobody else talking like that. I'm just telling you, ain't nobody else, ain't nobody else telling you to stop believing in yourself, but I'm trying to help you get your best life and your best life is when you lose your life. Ooh, ooh. Babe, pull up um, the message version of the Bible. Uh, um, no, not that one. It's the... Uh, if you try to lose your life, you gain it, but you gain your life, you, you lose it that one. I just preached it the other day. I pull it up in the message if you can get it to me. Um, Larosa is like my production assistant. This is, this is, I, we live in our good life over here. Jamie, what's up? What's up? I'm, I'm trying to help you that you understand that you're not the hero of your life. No, 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 no. It's not a song. Yeah, it's in the Gospels. Um, um, you become the hero of your life. In secular salvation, what they try to do is they try to shoot the movie Independence Day without Will Smith. Y'all remember that from Monday? You try to tell the gospel story without Jesus. They left Will Smith out of Independence Day too because he cost too much. We leave Jesus out of the story because he costs too much. So I'm going to take all, I'm going to excavate all of the Christian principles, all of the holy all of all of the the things that I know there in the Bible, all the healthy virtues in the Bible, but I'm going to I'm going to apply them to my life, but I don't want Jesus because Jesus he go too far. He tell me I can't sleep with the people I want to sleep with. He tells me I got to actually forgive people. So he goes a little too far. I just want the blessings and the things that develop it. It might be it might be Mark 8. That's good. Okay, and it talks about, if you're going to follow me, take up your cross. Who do men say that I am? It starts with that, and then it goes into that. Yeah, Mark 8, Mark 8, that's it. I think it's Mark 8, 34, 38. Grab that in the message version and bring it to me. Uh, we try to make the movie... I know I'm feeling random, but I'm setting you up. We're we about to go somewhere. Um, we try to make the movie um, without the primary character. And some of us are trying to build a kingdom without a king. And I'm telling you, it ain't going to work. That's why this vision board stuff, this, this, you know, 
all of these goals and me doing me and entrepreneur and social media. Get somewhere and sit down and get some depth in your soul. You a mile wide and an inch deep and you trying to, you, you, come on, come on. I'm, I don't want you to be a mile wide and an inch deep. I'm trying to help you get your best life. I'm trying to help you get it. Thank you, baby. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you. You're trying to build a kingdom without a king. And let's be honest. The promotion is about you. More money is about you. More influence, more likes. It's about you. The business you want to start, it's about you. And I'm trying to call you out of that. Come out of that. It, ain't, it can't be about you in this season. It's got to be about God. It's got to be about God. Can't be about you. There you go. There you go. So check check this out. This 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 uh, pastor Lee said showed me this in the in the message version. Listen to this. Mark eight thirty four thirty seven. Calling the crowd. Calling the crowd to join his disciples. He said, "Anyone who attends." Listen to this. Listen, listen to y'all. Listen to this. Listen to this. Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Come on in here, somebody. What did I, what did I say yesterday? I said the other day, if you want God to be on the, on the throne, the first, first thing you need to understand is you got to get off. Oh, we didn't start it already. We out the gate up in here. We ain't no lot of playing around. We already in it. We already in it. We already in it. Come on in here, somebody. If you want God to be on the throne, you got to get off. That's a word for some of you right here, right now. You trying to, uh, God is, you, you, you using him like your consultant, like he's your administrative assistant. He's your spiritual assistant. If I get in trouble, I just need you to help connect the dots. No, get off the throne. Get off the throne. You want God to get on it. You got to get off of it. You just in too much control. You're controlling it. Come on. Can, can you be honest? Don't wake up this early in the morning and not tell the truth. Come on. Let's be honest. Let's tell the truth. You you still controlling it. Ken Hilton, good to see you, bro. We see Nicole, you still controlling it. You still calling the shots. You're in the driver's seat. And some of you, the first thing you need to hear is this get off. You're not in the driver's seat. I am, he says. Watch this. The message version. He says, don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Don't run from this season. Embrace it. Don't run from the discomfort. Embrace it. Don't run from the realities of Corona. Embrace it. Come on. Y'all keep sharing. We keep sharing. We got over. It's almost 900 people watching right now in real time. Come on. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Tell somebody. Come get this. Come get this. Because listen to this. He says, don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Then he says, Follow me, I will show you how. Get off the throne, don't run away from it, embrace it, and then watch this, listen to the grace. I'm gonna show you how. Because you're thinking, embrace, embrace it. I don't know how to embrace it. He says, follow me, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how to embrace it. Watch this, here's, here's the big one though. Here's the thing I'm trying to get you to see. Listen to this, self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way to saving yourself, your true self. Self-help is no help at all. You doing it, you doing you. You Just listen to the books that are coming out. Listen to the spiritual gar, uh, jargon. Listen to, the, to, the, to all of these soul conversations that people are having, but they ain't saying the name Jesus. They're not talking about his power. They're not talking about his deliverance. They're saying you be the best you. You overcome your trials. You find your voice, your inner self, and you pull yourself up and you go in a conversation. No, self-help is no self, is no help at all. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way to saving yourself, your true self. Don't you let these people talk you into thinking that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Let this mind that be in me, that, that, let this mind be also in Christ Jesus. Let this mind in you be also in Christ Jesus. 
Brother Kenny Baru, get your, he, he should have your mind. I think I'm messing the scripture up. He should have your mind. So it ain't about what you set your mind to. It's about what Christ has set his mind to concerning you. How about that? Y'all got that? It's not about what you set your mind to. It's about what Christ has set his mind to concerning you. And you need to embrace that. And he says, and I will help you. I will help you. God ain't going to give you no hot album because he know he can't trust you. It's going to be your album, not God's album. He can't give you the promotion because it's going to be your promotion, promotion and not God's promotion. You're going to get up in the boardroom and not reflect the ethics and the glory of God. You're going to be like, yo, how can I get my paper up? And he ain't even mad at it. He's like, cool, but don't get it twisted. I ain't using you and that elevation didn't come from me. Some elevation comes from Satan. Because I told you before, I told the theme is belief. I'm, and I'm just hammering all week. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, some of you, the worst thing that ever happened to you was success. The, the, Satan's greatest strategy is in failure. Failure works on some of us. Man, I'm such a failure, I'm out. But Satan also will use success to mess you up. Some of your problem is you never needed God because you always had money. You always had your smarts. You always been able to get out of stuff. So you, so you believed in the economy. You believed in the system of this world. You believed in the world. Here's the thing I want to try to get to today. I don't know if I'm going to get there because I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just on one. But here's what I want to try to get to today. I don't, I don't want you to come out of this season believing in yourself. And I don't want you to come out of this season believing in the world. Some of you, you believe in the world. You believe in the economy. You believe in the pleasure. You believe in it. And Satan has sold you hook, line, and sinker. And moments like this is when there are cracks in the kingdom, where there are cracks in the world. Because all you did, everything you did right with the economy, economy still now. You got great economists scratching their head. They have no idea what's going to happen. That's why the biggest hope that they can give you is to go out and go bowling. Go get your nails did. Go get your hair done. Go, go spend money. Go spend money. Go, go out. Because that's the only hope they can give you. Because they, they don't know how to save this economy. Some of us would believe in the world. Listen to this. Self-help is no help at all. This bless me to my socks. This bless me. Self-help is no self-help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, to saving yourself, your true self. What good would it do to get everything you want and lose you, the real you? What could you ever trade for your, what could you ever trade your soul for? Ooh, what? Let me read that again. What good would it do to get everything you want and lose you, the real you? What could you ever trade your soul for? What are you trading your soul for? And I love it. He says the real you, the real you. Some of you don't even know the real you. Some, some of you don't even know the real you. Because you've gotten caught up in this fake, phony, lowercase k kingdom and you don't have true meaning. You're chasing after the wind and you believe the world. Let me tell you something, don't believe the world. Some of y'all believe the world, don't, don't believe the world. They lying to you, they're lying to you. Some of you, your problem is you believe in yourself Beth, so good to see you, Beth Schuper. You believe in yourself and you believe in the world. You think you can make it. You think you can accomplish it. You think the world has got what you need. And you, some of you are Christians and you believe that. You say, I love Jesus, but you really believe in the world. The success, the money, the fame, marriage, kids. You just got this vision of what your life going to be like. So some of you, you're not even, live, you're not even living right now because you're waiting on a man because you think when your man comes, then life begins. Girl, you better get your righteous mind back. You better snatch your focus back. Ain't no man going to start your life. The only man that's going to start your life has already died, resurrected from the grave, and is sitting on the throne with all power saying, I'm your boo-boo. 
come on in here. The, the movie already started. You ain't got to wait for no man for the movie to start. You ain't got to wait for no wife for the movie to start. You are in your single season. God is saying, I got fresh manna. I got meaning for your life right there. In your singleness right there, I've got purpose and meaning right there. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. People would wish that people wish they were where you are. The freedom, the accessibility, the mobility, the, the capacity that you have right now. There are folks wishing they had that. The word for today is I need you to stop believing in the world. It's my morning allergies, y'all. So y'all deal deal. Y'all been around, y'all, I've been sniffing for three weeks now. But I'm good. I ain't got, I, you know, I'm testing. I, I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got the virus. So we, we all right. Um, to, I want to talk to you about, in my few minutes, I, I want to stop believing in the world. Because if we keep it real, some of you believe in the world and you're hoping for the world to be your payoff. You're hoping for the world to give you what you need. You're looking for the world, watch this, to save you. You're looking for that job to save you. You're looking for that relationship to save you. You're looking for sex to save you. And I'm telling you, it won't. It won't. You're looking for pleasure to save you and it won't. It won't, y'all. <sighs> what good is it for you to gain the world and still lose you, the true you, the one that's marked with meaning, the one that was predestined and foreknown to be used for the glory of God? God is trying to bring you back to the true you. Stop believing in yourself and start believing in God because he wants to bring you back to your true self, to who he created you to be. But you'll never get there if you're wasting your belief on yourself. Babe, somebody's at the door. This is real time, y'all. We in here. Lanny, we in here. We've we got groceries being delivered. This is real. They don't know I'm having a show. They don't know this is good news today. I'm on good news today. No. Listen, come here. I need, I need you to hear this. I need you to I need you to hear this. As as you hear my groceries being delivered. I need you to hear this. Stop believing in the world. Stop believing in the world. Here it is. Luke 15. It's the famous story about the prodigal son. It's two of them. We'll talk about the other one later. He left home. He says to his father, give me my inheritance now. In other words, what I would get when you are dead, I want to get it now because I want to live as though you are dead. I want a kingdom with no king. Do you see that? I want to live now as though you don't exist. I want to live as though you are dead to me. So give me what I will get when you are dead. Now, because I want to live with the fruit of your house but not the rule of your house. You see that? Give me the blessing. Give me the inheritance, but don't give me the covering. Don't give me the authority. Don't give me the, the, the responsibility. I want the fruit of your house, but I don't want the reign of your house. I want to live as though you are dead. I want the kingdom, but I don't want the king. So he gives him what he desires. He gives him what he asks for. And the Bible says he went to the far country. He went to the far country because he believed in the world. He believed that if I can get the women, if I can party it up, if I can engage, it's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted. Can we just be real? Can we just be honest? Some of us have to lay on the altar our deep desire and longing for things of the world. There it is. Cousin Wade, some of us, we got we to gotta tell the truth about things of the world that we really long for. And let's just be honest. 
because we think they're going to save us. We really want it. We really want to have sex because we think that's going to complete us. Excuse me. Sorry. We really, we really want to have a relationship because we think that that's what's going to complete us. We, we really want... The enemy don't want this word to come out, but it's about to come out. Because somebody's about to say yes to Jesus. Because somebody, in the next 10 minutes, you're about to end your love affair with the world. The Holy Spirit brought you on here today. Because you believe in the world. You really believe if I get more money, if I get status, if I get relationship, if I can really indulge sexually. You, you really believe if I really get my thing. I love the bless you's in here. I love it. I love it. You really think that if I get there, you're like the younger brother. You're like, let me just get my grind on. Let me just do me. Let me do me. Like, I love the Lord. I'm a Christian, whatever. I grew up in the church. All that stuff. Let me just, I want to do me. Because you believe in the world. You believe in the things of this world. Kiana, put that mask down. You believe in the things of this world. And can I tell you, hit fast forward, how does it end? It will never satisfy you. The younger brother partied it up, had the time of his life. It's good till it ain't. Come on in here, somebody. That's a word on sin. It's good till it ain't. Some of you, it's good until it ain't. Because it ain't going to last. Can I tell you, it ain't going to last. I've done it. I've been there. I'm not sitting here talking as someone that's perfect. I'm sitting here telling you, yo, I went to the far country. I bet it all and lost it all. I've been to the far country and I bet it all and I lost it all. And I'm telling you, you better end your love affair with the, with the world. I get it because it's lovely. It's, it's, it's great. If it wasn't pleasurable, you wouldn't want it. But the thing is, Satan is just using it as a setup. And the longer you walk in the okie doke and continue to believe the hype, you're missing true purpose, true destiny, true meaning. God is trying to give your life true meaning, but you're missing it. Because a king without a kingdom is filled with cracks and eventually it's going to crumble. I said it too fast. I'll say it again slow. A king, a kingdom without a king has cracks and will eventually crumble. It will all come tumbling down. Are you in love? What, what things in the world are you in love with? What love affair are you having? As you try to passionately pursue God, but your, but your heart is still longing for some things of the world. God ain't saying tell the truth about it so he can condemn you. He's saying tell the truth about it so I can heal you and deliver you. He says show me, the, show me that thing so that I can show you that it's a fake thing. And I can invite you to experience the real thing. So he loses it all. Y'all know this story. He loses it all. And the good news is when he headed back home, his father was waiting on him for multiple reasons. Number one, he knew he was going to come back because he knows that the world would never satisfy him. And he knew he would come back broke because he knows that the world was going to abuse him. Two lessons real quick. The world will never satisfy you, but it'll beat the hell out of you. It'll uppercut you. It, 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 consume, it gives you the best pleasure. Like, oh, the greatest pleasure. I mean, come on. I wish I ain't got time to talk about the pleasure. But let, let me tell you, it's, it's some of the, some of y'all, it's some of the best pleasure. Because some of you are in a relationship right now. Some of you are in a relationship right now and it's some of the best pleasure and some of the worst pain at the same time. And I can tell you that ain't a gift that God will give you. He don't give you a gift like that that's going to take life from you. Instead of living your best self, you, you live in your less self. 
Oh, come on. That's a word for somebody. Somebody right now, instead of living your best self, you're living your less self. And you know it's less. You know it's less. You know it's less. But you keep holding on to pleasure. You keep holding on to comfort. You keep holding on because the fear is you don't know what's on the other side. The world will never satisfy you. And it will always beat the hell out of you. And I'm using explicit language to help you realize that he ain't, the Satan doesn't play with you. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And when he finished with you, he wants us to leave you for dead. Stop flirting with things that'll kill you. You shouldn't be so comfortable with things that seek to kill you. Sin, when it's finished with you, it'll take you further than you want to go, make you stay longer than you plan to stay, make you pay more than you can afford to pay. I'm talking to somebody. I don't know who you are, but you are in here and you are playing with something. That's good. You shouldn't be so comfortable with something that'll kill you. And you're playing with sin in your life and you don't realize as you're consumed with pleasure and got all the freedom and got all your stuff, you know, all the free, all the stuff that secular salvation promises. Pleasure, freedom, notoriety. Homeboy was popular. He had celebrity. He had freedom and he had pleasure. But when it was finished with him, it left him. Empty and with nothing. There's a story that my pastor friend Storm told me. It's a guy who had a pet snake. Y'all know these these people that have pet pet snakes. It's a whole thing. Well, he had one of these big, like a it was like a I, I don't know what kind of snake it was, but it was a, it was a pretty sizable snake. Um, and he had just got comfortable with it. It was he was just comfortable. It was his pet. Had a name, uh, uh, Herman. Herman the snake, he'd have it all over the house. He even had it in the bed with him. That's the crazy part for me. He actually had it in the bed with him. True story, by the way. True story. The snake laid out instead of coiled was straight. Straight and would not bend. Would not bend. This has gone on for about a couple of, you know, about a day and a half or so. And since... He had never seen it before. Since he had never seen it before, he um, he called the veterinarian and said, "You know what? This is a little weird. I don't know what I don't know what this is about." Um, but um, my snake, um, my snake, excuse me, my my snake ain't bending. It's just laying straight. The veterinarian said, uh, "Help! Explain to me. It's laying straight where?" He says, it's laying straight in the bed right here. He says, um, Mr. Johnson, are you there in the bed with the snake? He's like, yeah, I'm just laying right here in the snake right here. And it just had been. And I ain't never really seen this before. So I'm just wondering, does that mean anything or whatever? He's like, um, yeah, Mr. Johnson, I just need you to do me a favor real slowly. I just need you to ease out of the bed. He said, oh, okay. So he eased out of the bed. And then he said, she says, she says, are you out of the bed? He said, yeah, yeah. He says, now I need you to go into the... To the other room. Can you, is there another room you can go into that the, that the snake is not in? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's another room I can go into. She says, yeah, yeah. She says, I'm in the room. She says, are you out of the room with the snake? He said, yeah, 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 I'm out of the room with the snake. What's 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 up, Doc? What's what's going on? She said, uh, Mr. Johnson, the snake was preparing to eat you. He said, say what? He said, yeah. When a snake lays straight like that, he's measuring you and seeing if he can fit all of you in all of him. So he's measuring and sitting straight and he's looking and sizing you up to see if he can get your full body mass in his stomach. He was about to kill you. Satan wants to cozy up with you and get as close to you as possible. And it may be pleasurable. You may be having a good run, but he's sizing you up to destroy you. You shouldn't be so comfortable with something that could kill you. You shouldn't be so comfortable with something that'll kill you. What in the world have you gotten so comfortable with? Hello in here, somebody. The father was waiting on him because he knows that the world wouldn't satisfy him. That the world was going to beat him up. 
in that that boy was made to come back home. He was made to come back home. So the father was waiting on him and was ready for him because that's what a good father does. Some of you, the world hasn't satisfied you. Many of you, it's beat you up. And you need to come to the conclusion right now that there's no place like home. In my father's house, my, the servants in my father's house eat better than this. I need to go. I need to get my tail home. That's what he said. That that what he said. Like he and he said it like he was from Rankin County, Mississippi. I need to get my tail home. I need to get home. And he, and he didn't even come home fully understanding the grace of God. He came home with a hustle and a deal, thinking if I could just if I could just work for my daddy, if I could just work for my daddy then that'll be good. He ain't, even, he ain't even receiving the grace of God and the wholeness of God. He's coming home to strike a deal. And even with him striking a deal, his father says, I don't even want to hear your deal. Listen, don't, it's, no, no, no. This ain't, this ain't trying to negotiate terms. You're my son. Bring me a robe. Bring me a ring. Put shoes on his feet. Put a robe on his back. Because you're coming back as my son and not a servant. You're coming back. In the fields, in slavery time, they would sing songs to one another. And their songs that they would sing as slaves in the fields would, 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 would pique their spiritual imagination to one day when they were no longer slaves. And they would sing songs with, that spoke of heaven and in a day where they weren't slaves anymore. And uh, that one song was... I got a robe, you got a robe, all of God's children got a robe. When I get to heaven, going to put on my robe, going to walk all over God's heaven. They talked about that. One of the verses was, I got shoes, you got shoes, all of God's children got shoes. They talked about when they get to heaven, they're going to get a robe, they're going to get shoes, and they're going to walk all over God's heaven. He says to his son, get a robe, put shoes on his feet. Why? Because slaves don't have shoes. Slaves don't have robes. What he was saying to his son, you're not a slave. Put shoes on your feet, you're a son. Put a robe on your back, you're a daughter. You're not a slave. The good news today, friends, my brothers and sisters, you're not a slave. God is saying right now in the name of Jesus on a good news today show, I'm going to put shoes on your feet. I'm going to put a robe on your back because you have come home to where you've created to be. If you are in this in this space, if you are watching this right now and you're ready to come home, I want you to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, today I'm coming home. I've been in love with the things of this world, but they don't satisfy. They don't satisfy. And Father, you're the only thing that does. So I repent of my sins. I repent of my ways. I believe in you. I don't believe in me. I don't believe in this world, Jesus. I believe in you. And in you, you can transform me so that I can walk in victory in this world. So Jesus, save me. Jesus, I'm coming home so that I might trust in you. If you prayed that prayer, I just want to tell you in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. We don't believe in the world anymore. We believe in Jesus. We believe in Jesus. Would do me a favor? If you prayed that prayer, would you just send us a little message in Facebook and in Instagram? Or if you want to go to info at madeforfellowship.com, would you send us a message so that way we can just follow up and celebrate what God is doing in your life? But if you made a decision to come home today, would you just send us a little note? Send us a little message. Y'all, whoo! Pray for me, y'all. I don't know how to do devotions. 
we have a church up in here, y'all. We have a church. I got to figure out. I got to put the cash app up in here. We got to start taking offerings. We have a church. Info at MayfulFellowship.com. Thank you, Julie. Somebody on the Facebook page, somebody on the Instagram page, y'all put up the info at MayfulFellowship.com so people can see how to get there. Um, and, and, and let us know. And we want to pray for you. Our team is ready. We want to pray for you. We'll have somebody calling you and praying for you within the next 24 hours um, and just reaching back out to you. So please, please let us know. Um, y'all, thank y'all. Would you be praying that God will continue to move by his spirit? That's the good news today, y'all. You can come home. Welcome home. Welcome home. People are coming home today. Come home. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe in this world. We believe in God. And the Father is ready to welcome you home. Welcome home, y'all. That's the good news today. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all tomorrow. Invite somebody. Hey, hey, hey. Send us, give us some feedback. You can also hit prayer at madeforfellowship.com. Prayer at madeforfellowship.com. Y'all send us some feedback. Let us know what the Lord's doing. Come on, talk to us. If you came home today, talk to us. Yo, that was some good news today, y'all. That was some good news today. Love you. See you in the morning.